friends, we got air dry clay right here, and we are getting ready to make teeny little plates called jewelry plates. So you're each gonna get a little pinch of clay. You're gonna get the same amount. It's a smaller amount than our big, bigger things we've made because we are on, for Mother's Day, little sea turtle, since we just said art day, or earth day, not art day, every day is art day in art class. We're making little sea turtle jewelry holders, okay, for like a ring or something. All right, so what you do is you're gonna get a little piece of clay, I'm gonna move my examples over, and you're gonna mash it. This is air dry clay, so you don't have to get all the air bubbles out, but my hope is you will. So you're gonna mash it down so you have a, a circular oval shape. Then, as you use your fingers, see I push and turn to make it more circular, you use your fingers as your pinchers, and you're gonna pinch and turn it, pinch and turn like it's on a potter's wheel spinning to make it more of a circular, but it doesn't have to be a perfect circle like our internet searches that I found from the internet for you. Those are over there. Ooh, it's all those are for sale on the internet. So since uh, a lot of mothers like the beach, we're gonna work with that. Now, some of you guys like pinching off a little piece and sculpting a little turtle and adding them on. My, I just saw Tomas did that and it fell right off. So usually you don't pinch it on strong enough. So look at the stronger way to do it. I mean, you could do it your way, you just have to mash it in. You can pinch your sea turtle and sculpt it right into your clay plate. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use my pinchers and in my class, I've been teaching you that you can just use a pencil. You don't have to have any expensive tools. And you could do the little leg. I got his shell right here that I pinched. I have his head, his other little flipper, his back to flipper, a little turtle tail, and his other flipper. Then I'm going to do a wavy line to show where the beach is crashing. And I'm going to work on now that I know my turtle's there, I'm going to flatten out my circular shape a little more. And I'm going to work on my rim, passing it down. Okay, and smoothing it out. Now, if I dunk my finger, not pour it, if I dunk one finger in there and smooth it out, that will also help get the little wrinkles that looks like elephant skin off. And for you to go like this, just like you do on pottery on the potters, it'll smooth it out by pressing it down. Now, saw that little pinch, and you're all gonna get that same pinch, is certainly big enough for a ring. Should I put my wedding ring in there, for an example? Or, ooh, that ring, that's a pretty big ring. And there's more than enough room for more than one ring in there. So you guys will all have the same amount. It's more than enough. Now that I have my wiggly line here for my um, be uh, beach crashing on the shore, we're going to use clear glue, which works like epoxy. We're going to make it a little 3D, the crashing on the shore wave, wiggly line there. All right, now I'm doing it all in one class. You're going to have more than one class. You get to slow down. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to now paint it. Now I'm mixing up my paints. I'm gonna start with a darker color. If this is the beach and he's washed off on the sand, I'm gonna have my darker blue further from where that little turtle's swimming over here. It's deep out at sea. And I'm gonna add a little water or a little white with it. And then I'll have to clean out my white to get it lighter as it crashes on shore. Now I'm gonna clean my brush and use some white as I add it getting lighter to where it's coming to shore. I'm gonna clean my brush, dab it on a paper towel, and add a little more white now, okay? To, I'm gonna try to make it look like the glue is that little frothy part of the wave where it crashes on shore right there. All right, now I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna go to the sand color. Now I like working with a couple colors for sand and going a little darker and lighter around the sea turtle. I'm gonna add the lighter color of sand and I'm gonna use a little water, just a little bit. You don't wanna get it too soaked because we're working on clay. All right, I'm going around my turtle. All right, now my friends, how are we gonna get a turquoise color for the sea turtle? Well, I'm gonna show you, if you clean your brush, dab it dry. Oh, I had some tan on there. I'm using a paper towel or a tissue. Then I'm gonna get some light blue, bring it over to my palette, mix a new color here to teach you that I'm gonna mix light blue. You could do the same thing with light green. If I mix light blue with light green, I'm gonna have a lovely shade of turquoise. You don't believe me? Let's see how my turtle comes. Ooh, look at that lovely shade of turquoise. Now, we're going to have him bleed out a little bit because when we're when he's dry, the next day, you're gonna use your Sharpie and go around his little head and define your edges and make him look a little more uh, like a turtle by doing his head, the two flippers, and the little tail. Now, my class, 
to end this video as short as sweet as can be, we have dun -dun -dun, acrylic paint, which does stain. Don't get it on your clothes. This is glitter clear acrylic. And what this will do is we're going to shake it up when you get your bottle. You're going to flip over your plate. You're going to put your name on the bottom so I know who's is who. I suggest you can carve in with something, do your initials, or you can use a Sharpie or a Crayola. Then you're gonna put the glitter glue on the bottom. Why is this important? Say your mom puts her jewelry uh, plate in the bathroom. Condensation from the shower, the wetness, will cause your air dry clay to get moist and leave maybe a spot on the counter. So it's very important that you use your acrylic paint to seal the bottom and get the edges to make it a little bit like a sealant to seal it. Some of your parents also read my email and they use clear spray paint. That would be an extra layer, would be awesome. So then you're gonna let that dry and the next day you come back to my art class, you're gonna do a little squirt on the inside of your clear glitter glaze. There we go, this guy's dying out for us here to get his squirt on there. <laughs> but you don't wanna add water to it because you want your glitter glaze to be a nice thick layer to protect your uh, jewelry ring holder or a little jewelry holder and if you don't have a mom then who is like a mom in your life is it your dad is it a grandmother you could hopefully bless them all right we're going from today's lesson